it's finally time. We are on the way to Power Tour. There's about, a, I don't know, eight or ten of us leaving the house this morning, heading to Atlanta. So, uh, so far the car is running good. That's all you can ask for. So, see you guys in Atlanta. Where they pump your gas for you? Yeah. It's not like that down here. Yeah. First fill up. I went for the good stuff. Tour 2023. The shocks blew out. The car is uncontrollable, so we got to put front shocks, and while we're at it, we're going to put heavy duty shocks on the back. We got friends from all over just bringing toolbox. We got ramps, tools coming from every direction. You want to put on jack stands in the back? You want to get out of a full jack and jack back up? I can, I can get in the back. No problem. Just like it says. First fuel stop, Power Tour 2023. This is day two. We just put nine gallons in. Got 14 and a half miles per gallon, dude. That's amazing, considering we're rolling with two cars right Yeah, and we, Brandon, Brandon's got a heavy foot. Here's what we got going on. We got Dakota digital gauges, six speed manual transmission, 410 gears, 5.3 liter, two 450 CFM carburetors. The engine is bone stock outside of that. But uh, we just got 14 and a half miles per gallon. I am thrilled with that. Yeah. I did not think it would do that. But. We're used to single digits. I know. <laughs> Double overdrive for the win. Yeah. I like the 410 gear too. Yeah. So. Mm. It's running cool. Our temp gauge isn't working. I know it's running cool because we can, every time we stop, I come up here and I grab this or I can grab the cylinder head. None of it's warm. So, it's a good sign.
buddy Ryan Brett said, hey, there's a junkyard that's loaded with old cars. We're at Temple's Auto Parts. And uh, he said, you go there, check it out. Guys said, we can walk around, check out whatever we want. There's a big old crew here. So we're about to, we're about to walk it right now. There's three different yards. He said, just a couple of rules. No standing on the cars and watch out for snakes. See, these are the good junkyards. They have a mix of a little newer stuff and a lot of old stuff. That's what I'm saying. The tail lights look a lot like that. Another, another trap five right there. This is pretty cool. It's rotted, but. It's already got a tree in it. In the first 50 feet, it's already better than that last yard maybe go to. Wesley, I found you a frame. Look at my slammer eyes too now. <laughs> found you a frame, Wes. Where's your chassis for your car? Them frame horns, frame horns look good. Look, they're dead straight. They're not even tore up. Looks like it's been yeah, sitting the on the ground. Right. So. I mean, we this is the first hundred feet in, so I'm sure we're gonna see more. I think you need this, Dan. Which one? I like the Le Mans right beside. Yeah. I drive that. This is a custom sedan delivery right here. Yeah. Uh, we don't like sedan delivery so much. Okay. All right. Parts cars. Parts cars. Somebody converted it to a two door though. Just saying. That's, hey, that has uh, been a big deal. Man. They've been watching your channel. <laughs> Just converted it. Yeah. What that used to say, man. Oh, sweet. I don't know. Get closer. I might say it somewhere else. That's a shame. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. Will it come off? Yeah. Oh, right. You found a gasket. That's a radiator cap. That's somebody put on the gas. Yes, door. Oh, I see the center of it now. All right, David, you got dumbass. <laughs> I've slowly made, way, made my way over here to the the 40. I don't think it's 40 either. It's a 39 or a 40. Let's go see. Oh, man. Dang it. It's rough. It is rough, rough. I love these cars. But the three of us know a man that could take something oh, yeah. and make something out of that. Absolutely. That's right, Rod Ball. That, that's right up his Chevelle. alley. So. This is a good yard. We wouldn't have to do no frame work. It's already done. Four of us to do that. What happened? Huh. What if it's like a game? Like find the sticker? We found it. You found it. Look, there's another opal. Yeah. That one's not too good a shape. No. We're now at the very back of the yard and it's starting to rain. All of our windows are down. 55 four door. Another 55 four door. Six at the beginner. Driving a rust bucket. I'm gonna lay my bag on the bed. It leaves a bunch of rust.
<laughs> All right. So <laughs> we're an Alex Taylor star. like to see less rubber on the tire more on the vehicle yeah. rubberized undercoating there you go gonna be good. Oh my god. So this thing was a golf cart for a couple of years. Yeah. And now we're actually using it as a golf cart. Sweet. We got the bros in the back. We have to actually just go about 40 feet over here and pick up a cord. But we're gonna do it in style. Our three-day build. We made it all the way to Bristol day five with no issues. Nothing. Nothing at all. You had more issues than me. My fuel pressure's still doing some weird stuff, but you know, it's okay. We'll make it work. We still gotta make it back to Georgia with no issues tonight. <laughs>
Nah, that doesn't count. We made it. We did the event. That's all that matters. Is that all that matters? That's all that matters. Okay. Brandon, are you uh, excited about your car? We just did a thousand mile road trip. Yeah, I'd say it's testing. Yeah. You can do that. And then that's obvious. There you go. That's skill. That's impressive. Is it steep? Yes. Yeah. Very, very steep. Okay. At least you made it here. Yeah, I, 1,200 miles and now uh, I had to hit on a start. And uh, I don't care to mess with it right now, so it's okay. I'll get the tractor. Get the tractor. <laughs> Ready. Ready. Did your winch just die? Are you serious? You for real? Yeah. Yeah. I got good connections over here. Where are you grounded to? The case? Straight to the post. It's dead. I went to dead. Well, David, you're on a 57 Ford. <laughs> And just like that, Hot Rod Power Tour 2023 is in the books. And we are already planning for next year. Thank you guys for watching. I need to thank all my buddies for traveling from all over the United States and even from Canada to help out with this 57. We got Mike Cotton from Illinois. We got Jonathan from Mississippi. We got Chase and family from Texas. We got Whitney. Vern and Nick, all from Mississippi. We got Kevin from Nashville. Last but not least, we got the crazy Canadian Dan from DD Speed Shop, all the way from Canada. And a handful of others that stopped by to help out and hang out. It was a damn good time and we're definitely looking forward to next year.